Hi guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video. It's Wednesday, May 10th. I just logged out of work for the day and am I'm just taking a moment to kind of decompress. I don't know how much I've updated y'all on like my corporate job journey and all of that, but I figured I would start with my work from home setup, which is nothing exciting at all. Honestly, I'm sure there are people who have much better setups than me. Anywho, here is my work from home setup. I still haven't bought a desk chair, even though it's been almost six months. I literally just use one of the bar stools from my kitchen and we make do. Anyways, this is my office setup in the corner of my bedroom. I have this standing desk from Costco that people always ask me about. It is super nice. Uh, it was a few hundred dollars. It has this like glass top on it that you can use dry erase markers. To write on which is a super nice feature i have my work laptop all of like my planners and to-do lists for work all of my other notebooks and planners for like personal and business a little cup holder of stuff my personal laptop i got this desk riser um to try and make my desk a little more organized I don't know, there we go. And then I have this monitor from work as well. I've actually been wanting to get a new monitor. I don't know if it's like within reason to ask my company if I can get a bigger monitor because I know that like designers at the company have really big, nice monitors, but that's because like they're doing very design intensive work when they're at home. And so like they need a 4K display or like a computer monitor, literally twice the size of mine. But like the, the monitor that I have at work at my desk is like this wide. And then the one that I have at home is like this wide. And so I kind of just want to be like, if you have any extras laying around, can I trade mine in? But I'm also considering getting my own when I move again and have like my own dedicated office space but if I can get it for free through work then that would be ideal so that is my current work from home setup my schedule is hybrid so I work from home Monday Wednesday Friday and work from home days are usually more chill anyways so sometimes I'll go to like a coffee shop and work but whenever I have meetings I make sure that I'm at my desk but I do get cabin fever working from home a lot which is why I like to go out in the evenings and do things now. Anywho, I'm trying to think what else is new. I don't really have any like apartment updates for you guys. My friend Gabby actually gave me this mirror recently. I traded out my old mirror that was like half the size for this one. It was actually from her work's office. They're like moving and just getting rid of stuff. It was free. I was like, okay, I'll take it. I feel like that's pretty cute. And then I recently, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I literally can't reach all the way up there to like the second hook like this is as far as my hand goes so I have to jump to hang my tote bag but um I needed like some more I don't know my tote bags were just ending up on the floor so I put some command hooks up at this point I've not given up on this apartment but um spoiler I do think I'm gonna be moving in October to a bigger apartment when this lease is up and I mean that's gonna be here in like the blink of an eye so I really haven't put any more, I guess, money into this apartment, like decorating and trying to do stuff. So that is that. And this apartment is plenty nice as it is. I just mean like doing more organization or like those little things I've kind of just given up on at this point. And uh, yeah, plan for the night is go to the grocery store, get food for a barbecue and make burgers on the rooftop. Matt and I are going to go do that tonight. Um, he was working from home today. Too, and we've kept saying how when the weather is going to get better we want to be using the rooftop at our building more and we're about to have like knock on wood that it stays this way I think a week and a half of like 80 and 90 degree weather and I'm just so freaking excited for it to actually feel like summer like I want to be sweating every day I want to be sunburned not actually but like I just want it to feel like summer so Kicking off this good weather with a barbecue on the rooftop. Very excited about that. So yeah, that is what we're up to tonight. I'm 
morning guys happy Thursday I am actually running late for work so very quickly thought I would show you my outfit of the day I'm not even gonna bother to look in the mirror and ask myself if this actually looks cute because I will end up changing if I do that and I don't have time but we like I said are finally having that summer weather the tank top is from Gap and I almost got rid of it because I've had this since like before I was considering having a corporate job and I was like I don't have a use for this top it's kind of like modest I don't really know what I'd wear it for but I'm glad that I kept it because I think it's perfect for these like hotter days and then these like little trousers I've had since college they're from the brand Mango and I got them tailored so I don't even remember what they used to look like but I'm also glad that I held on to those um, perfume that I just put on is the Maison number no. 4. really like how this smells. I just got like a tester from I think Sephora to give it a try before I get the full size bottle. I need to pick out my shoes for the day. I don't know if I want to do like flat sandals or heels. I think I'm just going to do these white heels. They're by the brand Kelly and Katie from DSW. They're kind of just my go-to sandal in the spring but I do want to get some new ones because they're kind of worn if you look really close at them so full outfit of the day i'm gonna grab a little sweater because sometimes the office gets cold it's like 8 20 right now don't mind me while i pack my bag but i usually leave for the office i'm usually at the office by this time so it's okay i had a call this morning at 7 30 and so i was like getting ready while i was on that call but that kind of like threw me off for getting ready and I feel all out of whack right now. I'm not taking lunch with me because I don't have any meal prep. Honestly, I'm just gonna end up. Sorry, I have no idea what camera angle this is gonna be at. I'm trying to be better about spending money out getting stuff. So I made coffee for the second day in a row at Matt's place that I'm gonna take into the office. Um, just to save myself a Starbucks run. Also, I made myself a bagel this morning, but it has been sitting on the counter for so long because of my call that it's like rock solid. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm still gonna eat it on my way to work. It's just, you know when you leave, especially, I mean, I'm a bagel girl. I eat so many bagels, but if you toast it, if you get it nice and crispy and then you leave it out for too long, it's like, it turns into like tough bread which sounds really gross okay anyways i'm gonna head to work i'm gonna be there until probably like four today it takes me about 20 minutes to get to work every day it really depends on traffic right now it might actually take longer and the reason that i get to work so early in the morning or it's actually not even that early i shouldn't say that i try and get to the office around eight no later than 8 30 every day because the parking lot fills up really fast and i refuse to walk really far from a parking spot to the office i just i hate walking into the office in that sense and especially since i'm wearing heels today i i really hope that there's a parking spot but i'll keep you guys updated Hey guys, sorry about the weird lighting. I just have you set up on my dashboard, but I am on lunch right now. I'm gonna run over to the employee store because they're doing an employee appreciation event right now. So I get an additional 10% off of my employee discount there. So basically stuff is like super, super affordable and um, our sales meetings are coming up, which I think I mentioned, which basically means since I work in international marketing that all of our like distributor sale teams are coming to Portland and going to be placing their buys for the upcoming season. And they only visit us, I think twice a year. So I need to make sure that I am decked out in Columbia for that sales meeting. So I'm gonna see what I can pick up during the sale. Shirt. 
Hello everyone, home at last. It took me like 40 minutes to get home today and I am just unboxing some PR right now. Both of these boxes are from L'Oreal. So super excited to see what they are. I honestly don't remember getting an email from them or anything. So surprise PR is the best PR. Oh, oh my. Okay, this box said, I swear it said L'Oreal on it, but it's, oh, I guess it's owned by the same company. Ah, from Lancome, oh my gosh. Their Idol, oh, oh, their, it's their Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is like perfectly timed for the hot weather that we're having. They do look a little light, but I've also been fake tanning lately. I feel like lighter is better than darker because I can always just add some bronzer to it. So, oh my gosh, very, very excited about that. Sorry, I don't do the most aesthetic unboxings like other people might. What is this? Bond Strengthening Shampoo, Conditioner, and Concentrate. Very cute packaging. I will add these to my roster. I do have to say honestly, I am very like Olaplex biased. I've been using Olaplex for so many years. You guys have seen me do sponsorships with them. They are genuinely my favorite hair care brand and I rarely ever stray from them. So I have to be honest, sometimes when I get hair PR, I, I just give it to like my friends and family or I'll do like a giveaway or put it as like a freebie in my Poshmark orders because I just, I love my Olaplex so much, I have a hard time using anything else. And I think that this is kind of like trying to mimic the Olaplex product because Olaplex is known for their bond strengthening hair care. So very, very interesting. That's my honest opinion on like, I guess the hair care, which maybe doesn't sound the best in the sense that like, I don't always use the PR that I get, but I'm also very, very brand loyal. On the other side of it anyways that's what's up it is 5 18 right now oh my gosh so today is matt and i's uh nine month anniversary so we're gonna go do a little date night tonight and when i was coming back from work i ran into him in the parking garage and we were not expecting to see each other and i was like oh what are you doing down here and he was like uh nothing um i was actually gonna go get you something so He's the sweetest. Anyways, I'm sure I'll show you guys later what I got, but I am going to, I don't know, touch up my makeup a little bit, pick out a cute outfit for date night, and maybe just chill out a little bit before that. So, yeah. Okay, I can't remember what I updated you guys on last. It was just the craziest morning. I still feel like I have like adrenaline <laughs> going through me, just trying to like calm down and get everything done. I actually need to focus up for a little bit because I have some like really detail oriented work um, I have to do to prep for our sales meetings coming up. It's like Excel files and these codes and everything that just have to be like down to a T and there's dozens of them that I have to go through. Anyways, I'm gonna like put on my headphones and maybe some lo-fi and just like zone in on that. I don't know about anyone else, but when I need to focus for work, a lot of the time I have to like cancel out the noise, even though I'm like home alone and there's quite literally no sound here. I think I might be like trained from college just from like deep studying that something about putting on headphones just like it really like blocks literally blocks everything out and makes me dialed in so I'm gonna do that before I start work but yeah you guys will have seen this morning okay woke up literally right before an 8 a.m meeting that is my bad it was Friday and I was very sleepy um, so I had an 8 a.m. meeting this morning, then had to get ready super quick, 
and I walk down to the Sorel headquarters, which Sorel is owned by Columbia. Columbia owns like a couple of different outdoor brands. There's Sorel, Prana, and Mountain Hardware are all kind of like the umbrella of the company. And Sorel has a headquarters right above the Columbia store in downtown Portland. It was literally a 10 minute walk for me. And I recently met someone who's a product line manager there. So I went and met with her again a few weeks after we met for the first time. And it was so cool just to learn more about the company and like all of the different career opportunities that there are in like the marketing, merchandising, retail world. And so yeah, that was just honestly so nice. Um, I did a little haul on my Instagram stories of the shoe samples that she sent me home with, which was so nice. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, I might show them later in this vlog, we'll see. But yeah, that was super nice. I worked at a coffee shop for a little bit. The Woodlark, the, what is it? The Good Coffee, yeah, it's the cafe in the lobby of the Woodlark Hotel, Good Coffee, which, sorry, that sounds like a jumble of words. <laughs> Good Coffee has a bunch of different coffee shops around Portland, and I've known for the longest time that they have one in the Woodlark Hotel. I'd just never been, but I did stop there today, and the vibes were immaculate. You guys will have seen, I definitely want to go back there, because it was like a quick walk from my place. Um... So yeah, I did some work there, had lunch with Matt when I got home, and here we are doing some more work today. Once I finish with work, I need to clean up my apartment a little bit, get it just like nice and clean for the weekend because I've just been throwing stuff all over the place during the work week, and then pack for tonight for my girls' night sleepover that I'm so stoked on, but I'll probably give you guys a recap um, tomorrow about everything we're getting up to and then head over there around like 6, 6.30. So that is my night in a nutshell. Something else, I wish I would have talked about this sooner in the video actually, is that I am honestly just so happy with like my work-life balance at the moment. Granted, there are like moments that I'm still very stressed or like, how am I gonna get this all done? Like I overcommitted myself over, but overall it is just so much better than what it used to be. And like, I don't know if I've talked about this on here, but when I was in college, all I did was work. Like I was so focused on school and then every waking moment that I wasn't doing schoolwork, I was working on my social media, which granted was super fun. Like I absolutely love doing social media on the side, as you guys can see, <laughs> I've been doing it part-time and full-time for six years now so I do love it but I didn't have like the college experience or really even made a lot of good memories with people during college which like sounds really sad to say like all of my how do I explain this all of my like highs and like memorable moments in college were related to school or work and I had some really incredible moments and accomplishments during that time but it was never just like a vacation with friends or like a really fun night out that I like look back on that's not what my memory of college is so all of that to say I also spent you know most of the pandemic just working because that's all we could do and just like struggling to make new adult friends in the city like I talked about um in one of my get readies with me a little bit ago I'm gonna have to make a whole video on this I feel like but I just feel like I am finally at a point in my adult life that I have an amazing group of friends and I am just like so thankful to even be able to say that. I could probably cry talking about it because I feel like I've waited so long for this. I've had like amazing best friends ever since I was a child but like we've never, ever since high school we haven't lived in the same city. We see each other like maybe four times a year, like every quarter we see each other. And I'm so grateful for that friendship because every time we see each other, we do just get to like pick up where we left off. But it's not like, I can't exactly like hit them up to just like go get drinks or like go do something spontaneously. It's like, we're, we're all living our own adult lives. And so it's been hard to find friends in the city that I like really gel with and can just make spontaneous plans with and like just have fun as adults together. Anyways, yeah, I, I also talked about that on my Instagram story a little bit ago and there is some comfort 
and knowing that like everyone struggles with adult friendships like they're so hard it's hard to make adult friends and it's even harder to find like real friendships at this age and so like up until now I really just haven't made a lot of friends ever since like high school because I didn't want like halfway friendships like people I just hung out with because of class or school or work like I just couldn't be bothered with it I would rather have like no friends than halfway friends and that's what I did which was like kind of sad when you say that out loud but anyways it all turned out for the best I feel like life is so good right now and the reason oh my god I've been talking so long the reason that I feel like my work-life balance is so good right now even though I'm super busy is that every week I've had like a social thing to do and that's a weird thing to brag about but one really good personal growth for me as an introvert who I could go weeks without hanging out with friends and that is the honest truth and I don't know if that's like weird but I could granted I have Matt and like we hang out all the time but like going out to like drinks with the girls or like I don't know just like doing friend things I could go weeks without seeing my friends and like actually be fine but at the same time I've been pushing myself to make more plans like every single week so that I have memories to look back on and like to get myself out of my comfort zone and do more things socially. I don't know it's just fun like I have this girls night sleepover tonight. I'm going out for someone's birthday next weekend. I have a wedding the following weekend so I don't know it's just coming from someone who has not made a lot of like friend memories in the past few years. It feels just really good to know that my life right now is so full of great people and great memories and things like that. So, wow. I've been talking a really long time and I, I need to work. So, oh my gosh. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Nothing, sometimes I